Growing up in the Alps, I was surrounded by geology. I spent a lot of time when I was a young guy in the hills, walking and camping and climbing. I was inevitably attracted by it. Geology is a great subject, but it's also a subject where you can just be curiosity driven in different ways. Particularly like the applied side of it, the ability to use the fundamental science and make it useful. The University of Leeds is a very large university and the School of Earth and Environment is one of the main departments. Sedimentology at Leeds is particularly strong. We've got a whole series of academic staff who each have their own research groups. And collectively that makes a critical mass of people who can actually address some important questions. We have various industrial partners. They provide guidance, they provide data sets, they provide resources that help us to push the boundaries of the science. FACTS is the Fluvial Architecture Knowledge Transfer System. It's a relational database that basically describes the anatomy of fluvial succession, so river deposited rocks. In order to have a database that's going to work correctly, you need to have access to a large amount of data. We store data that we derive from our own field studies. Reliable data taken from the peer-reviewed literature. We're very rigorous and very ruthless in terms of the way in which we code the data that is entered into the system. And so Luca oversees that and he's got a very standardised, systematic way of doing things. He's able to translate various different data types which are given to us in all sorts of different formats. And we do this by handling quality using the metadata that describe observations and interpretations. We've built up a really detailed picture of the sedimentary geology of a series of basins. We can look at hierarchy, we can look at Fasci's architecture and Fasci's transitions, which means that you can ask contingent questions of the database. So you can say, if I have this thing, what will I have next to it, or above it, or downstream of it? And we know that the answers to those questions will be reliable. Well, the partnership with PDS started because ideally we wanted to commercialise our set of databases. We worked with them initially just on a small scale to kind of prototype and think about what that could look like for them. We realised there was an opportunity to really make a difference in the industry with the FACTS database. It's the weight of the academic thought, the weight of the experience that means it's something you can actually make and chance business decisions on. So we, we designed a, a product to bring that into the hands of everyday users. And that's where Avaclastics comes in. From our point of view, we want somebody who can put the same quality into the delivery of the database that we've put into its construction, and PDS can do that. From their point of view, they want the highest quality database, because the higher the quality of the database, the better the product you'll get when you interrogate it. It became apparent that uh, our other databases, one of which is relating to shallow marine strata, that's called SMAX, and one relating to deep marine strata, called DMAX, they would logically sit alongside facts within this Ava Clastics product. What's exciting about having three databases is that they effectively line up in a source to sync sequence. And at some point we want to see this suite of databases fully integrated in Ava. It's great for us and it allows us to collaborate uh, around new workflows and ways to optimise the data and actually incorporate that into the product really quickly. So we can really bring our applied research to fruition. Mm -hmm.